So, hey everyone, I'm Yoshida, and here at Norris Cove, we're all about budgeting. We're all about DIYs, planners, minimal planning, all that great stuff. So, that is who we are here at the Norris Cove. So, let's hop right in. Um, this one is plain, but it's okay. Let's see. No, let's take another colored one. Because I have to admit, you guys, I am really kind of enjoying the colored one. <clears throat> so... Let's do a review of last week, which was October the 17th through the 23rd. Um, we estimated $650 in um, income from my hair business. I ended up making six, $741. Um, Norris Cove, we estimated like $260. And when I looked at it for the week, it was like $234.50. Um, but some of the money I didn't get till this week, which is today. Today is Tuesday. I'm kind of late. And then... Miscellaneous, I had 80 here, but I marked that out because I included that into my hair um, income because I did some work for my coworker. And so that was just kind of like hair income. And then plus I made another $45 that Saturday. So that's how we reached um, 741. But had I not, we'd probably been still here. So Citibank got paid. Barclays ended up being $70, as you can see here. Um, my card note got paid, so I just checked that because that's exactly what it was. And then I ended up paying booth rent, and that was my last extra payment for my booth rent, which has been $50, and I was able to do that with helping my coworker. So we had $655. Um, what we ended up here is the actual amount was $628.63. And you guys... Listen, I didn't get to pay T-Mobile like until this week, and that's a whole mess. Last week just wasn't as good as the week before. The week before, we made $14.55. I felt like I was rich. I was not. <laughs> and listen. Uh, so, and then this week is not looking that great, but we're just going to go with the flow. So, I'm going to first check my A6, which keeps my salon scheduled. And I can kind of look at my schedule and see what I got going on. It's looking a little slim, y'all. This is what it's looking like. <laughs> Duh. So I'd say 700 this week because sometimes people call last minute. So I'm just going to put down 700. <clears throat> so we're going to put down here. And I'm budgeting 700. And then Norris Cove. I don't know what Norris Cove is going to do because I still have the budget box and it's still available. Um, sales have, you know, at first everything was going well and sales were doing pretty good and now they're kind of slow. So I'm just going to put zero just because I don't know. I don't want to guesstimate. I am promoting it, you know, as much as I can. Um, miscellaneous, I don't know. So I'm going to put zero. And so we just have a total of $700 in income. So now we're going to list our bills. Again, I'm using an old one, the very first one I made, but the new one is updated where the date is over here and the bill is over here. Those are just two things switched out. So I just wanted to explain that. So if you saw mine and then you order yours and you don't see it that way, that's just the only thing. So now I'm just referencing my um, monthly calendar. That's the first thing I showed. Um, and as you can see, I just keep it kind of simple. So being that we're the 24th through the... 30th. There's a few things this week going on. So we had to pay T-Mobile today, which really, I, I can't, I don't even want to tell y'all what I did to pay them, but I pretty much need to have the money back for T-Mobile in my account by Thursday, which I don't see it coming. So I'm just going to put 27th. I put it on my Capital One card, but uh, see, I did that wrong anyway. Oh goodness. Hold on. Running my mouth. So let me just mark that out. So it's Capital One is the bill. And it'll be $300. I did it again. I'm, I guess I'm used to one way of doing something. And that's why I like the date on the other side. But I have $300. I'm going to put the 27th. Okay, which is basically T-Mobile. Um, PayPal, ooh, let's do today. Oh, goodness. Oh, Lord, thank God. Let me, oh, my God, I was supposed to schedule that. Oh, Lord, when I get off of here, I'm going to pay that. 
I think that's 40. Oh Lord, I was about to have another late payment. Um, the 28th, I have car insurance, State Farm, and my life insurance and all that great stuff is in there. Um, that is due on the 28th, and it's 2-11. And then I have GoDaddy on the 29th. I don't know why I did these like this. I think I was moving the words around. GoDaddy is like $7.41, and that is just for my professional email. So that is that. Now, um, I like to kind of look ahead, so if there's something I need to save up for for next week. Um, but then I put that down in my notes, in which I'm going to do now. Um, my daughter's birthday is tomorrow, the 26th, so I'll put um, her birthday. I'm also putting um, TBB pre-sale ends, and <clears throat> the reason I'm doing that is because that will probably be my last chance to order anything extra if I wanted to for the box. So that would basically come out of my budget. So now let's do some math. <laughs> So we have a total of eight fifty eight forty one, uh, and actually, let me subtract fifty from here because I was still putting that three hundred for my booth rent. So it's eight oh eight forty one, eight oh eight forty one, and I have to put my booth down. I always forget that, and that'll be whatever. Saturday is the 22nd. Wait a minute. No, the 29th. And that it'll be 250. Y'all. I'm basically in the negative by $108. But I'm not gonna worry about it. Just can't worry about it because I just can't. I just can't. So, anyway, there's no sinking funds this week. So, if you noticed, I skipped cash envelope stuffing last week because there just was no money left. I had to take all my money out of my cash envelopes because I basically funded the TBB box. I did go over my budget. Um, really, to be honest with you, I really priced them too low. But it's all good because it's, again, if you were in my Facebook group or in my Instagram, I talked about how I, that's the point of a budget box because it needs to be budget friendly. I wanted you to be able to include it in your other subscriptions and not be too much of a hassle. So I'm just taking it on the chin and it's putting me in a little financial bind. But once this is done and I think that it gets rolling, we will be looking better in our budget um also i noticed i didn't put the date here so we had 10 24 through 10 30 so um yeah so let's write down our total income is at 700 is what we budgeted prayerfully we make more that's just all i can hope for total bills was 808 and as you can see i wasn't able to include any sinking funds. If there's some, I will because I do want to get back into my cash stuffing. But I think until I get the budget box released, then that's just all I can think about. So we are in a negative down here by $108.41. Wow. Okay. Just wow. But like I said, I'm just not going to stress over it because I can't. And I, I'm just not going to let that stop me from producing this budget box. Like, it's already done. The stuff has already been paid for. So, you know, it is what it is. I just pray that it brings in um, more sales so that <laughs> I can get rid of these products that I'm producing for. And I'm still not really done paying for stuff because I still have to have um, the inserts um, printed. And I'm just not going to print them myself. So, ow. That is that. I mean, whole bunch of them, but I'm not praying them. So, anywho, that is this week's budget, you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that notification bell. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.